Hello again, Mr. Rector. Signore Barosi. I'd like to take this boat, Paul. Can you put it on my account? Of course. interested in hearing about her politics. The soft lighting covers a multitude of sins. It's a protester, the thickest flies in the city. Senor Condello will miss this. There's something on the bottom. feeling this brass hook dropped from Bianca's purse. I'll take it with me. Prescription cream for plaque psoriasis has Bianca's name on it. I wonder what this key card goes to. I should find out. It's a cheap prepaid phone. Who did Bianca need to speak to that she couldn't call on a regular cell phone? Let's see who Bianca was talking to. I need to find out who Gabriella is. I'll put this in my phone's contacts. speaking with Gabriella? Si, this is Gabriella Spira. Who is this? I'm calling about Bianca Cardolo. I found your number on her phone. I thought someone might be calling me. Are you with the police? I'm an independent investigator. May we meet? I work near the Doji Palace. There's a cafe on the north side of the plaza. Can you meet me there? Yes, I'll see you soon. Doja Palace dates back to the 14th century. The tourists love it. I've toured the palace before. I don't have time this trip. What a stunning view. There really is no city like Venice. The lady enjoys an afternoon espresso, I see.
That must be Gabriella Spira. Are you Gabriella Spira? Si, Senor Hector. You're investigating Bianca's death? That's right. May I? Please, sit down. Tell me about Bianca's son. Paolo. What a beautiful boy. She adored him, of course. She didn't mind? Having a child while she herself was so young. Not Bianca. She loved it. In fact, she was expecting another child when she died. Did you say Bianca was pregnant when she died? You didn't know. Oh, now I... I don't know if the family would approve of me saying so. It's quite all right. I won't tell anyone. How far along was she? About uh, three months. The test said it was a girl. She was so excited. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Sometimes it all becomes too real. I apologize for upsetting you. About Bianca. Yes. Tell me about Bianca's family. She came from a very important family. Her father is Antonio Savoy. Her mother's father, he was a highly respected magistrate in Venice. Not just anyone can be friends with someone like that. Her family was very, um, protective of Bianca, but they were very fond of me. Tell me about Bianca. Mm, she adored the music. She loved to go to concerts. And she loved to dance. She continued to dance after she married Dante Cardolo? Yes, but she only went to the studio to practice when no one else was there. How did you meet Bianca? We were in the same dance company. Do you know, we were rivals at first, but I came to love Bianca like a sister. I can't believe she's dead, and to die in such a way... It's horrible. It certainly is. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you have any idea who might have killed Bianca? No. Everyone loved her. She was very sweet, especially when you consider the importance of her family and all her money. She was not vain at all. He must have been, how do you call it, a serial killer. Random. Yes, that's likely. What's the name of your dance studio? I'd like to look up some of your performances. Would you? I'm so flattered. We have a recital next week. It's La Compagnia Venezia. Excellent. I'll look it up. Two beautiful young women, best of friends. You knew Bianca better than anyone else, didn't you? Well, I was her dearest friend. Bianca trusted me with her life. And with her secrets? What did you know about Bianca that most people did not? It wasn't anything she told me, but Bianca was very um, worried about her looks. She was not confident. Was there something specific about Bianca's looks that she didn't like? Oh, I don't know. You know how women are. The slightest flaw. I really don't think Bianca would wish me to speak of it. But, I can tell you this, if she'd had more confidence, Bianca could have gone far. Perhaps become the wife of the Prime Minister one day. As it was, she was content to marry Dante and stay in Venice. Tell me about Dante Cardolo, Bianca's husband. She was very happy with Dante. It was her dream to marry a politician. And, well, she liked the attention of the press. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for meeting me, Signorina Spira. Grazie. If there's anything more I can do for you, please call. I will. Arrivederci.
Bianca must have danced in front of that mirror a hundred times. I don't believe in ghosts, but if she had one, that's where it would be. I could get my leg that high, but then I'd have to kill you. I need a record of it, but I don't... Good. Now that's an interesting data point. I've learned enough about Bianca now to attempt my analysis. Signore Ferroni was
I think that completes my investigation in Venice. I'll let Dexter know I'm done and on my way home. I'm taking the first flight in the morning. Dexter wants to see me straight from the airport. Won't take a report from the phone. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big secrets, I... an introduction. Two men ransacked my hotel room in Venice, and then they ransacked me. They took photos of my passport. Why? What did the intruders look like? Their faces were covered, but they were Asian. I'd guess Chinese, but I can't be sure. I apologize, Mr. Rector. I can assure you that I had no idea you would be in any danger. This was a fact-finding mission, nothing more. Please, if you would be so kind as to tell me what you learned about Bianca Cardolo. Did you make any connection between her and anyone in history? No. We were certain there must be something. A person could make the mistake of associating her with Livia Drusilla. She was the wife of Augustus Caesar. Had a father descended from two prominent bloodlines, the Livy and the Claudi. Her mother was a daughter of a magistrate, and her first husband shared a bloodline with her father's family. She was married at 18 to a much older politician, whose politics were not popular at the time. She had two children with him. She was by all accounts wealthy, beautiful, and ambitious. Just like Bianca Cardolo. So, 
You do associate Bianca Cardolo with Livia Drusilla. I already said no. Look at her hands. Augustus appreciated beauty. Too much so. He would have never married a woman with a physical flaw like this one. That's very insightful. Thank you. We would like to continue to work with you, if you're amenable. No. I thought the fee was generous. I want to know what this is all about. The truth is, I can't trust you. Not yet. Perhaps in time, as we work together. I understand, a man of your intellect, how curious you must be. How frustrating it is not knowing everything you want to know. I'm not frustrated. I'm done. If you need me again, you know my terms. Would it matter to you if I told you that your work for us could be of invaluable service to your country and your countrymen? Maybe the entire world? <laughs> no. You're not seriously gonna let him go? I am. We wait. We wait for the pattern. It wasn't her. They thought it was, but it wasn't. Yes, I think she's still out there. We'll do everything we can to locate her. You have my word, Senator. We can't risk them finding her first. Give me time. They think she's dead, so they'll be off her trail, at least for a while. Very well. Keep in touch. Uh, I'd like to hear more. Still working? Won't you come up to bed? I will, darling. Soon. <laughs>